Hello everyone, I'm Andrew welcoming you back to Taekwondo Step by Step on this beautiful Monday. Tell me, what kind of a person are you? They say that the most successful people are those who are not just intelligent, they don't just have a high IQ, but they also have a high EQ, emotional quotient. That means that they can mix with other people. And it's only by having this combination of intelligence and the ability to mix with people that we can make the 21st century even more successful than the 20th century. Let's get right into now our first day of this week and our ticket to tongue. Master Lee will give us a demonstration first. Master Lee, welcome back to the show on this lovely Monday. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Kyu-hyun. Now Master Lee, I was just going to ask you, looking at your hands, they look so strong and tough. Now is this the way we need to make them in order to be good at Taekwondo? Well Andrew, after years of learning and practicing Taekwondo, not only your hands, but also your whole body will become a weapon to protect yourself. Okay. Alright everyone, are you all ready to have a workout with me? If you are, follow me. Follow me. Okay guys, well, let's begin this Monday off with plenty of uh, oomph and let's make our hands and our feet real weapons, just like Master Lee said. Let's go Master Lee! Okay, it's now time to practice the moves of Taegok Chiljang. Let's review everything we've learned so far. All right, this is where we left off last time, the Wen Murub Olyachigi. From here, you set your foot down with a wide step and pull your right leg like this in support. This stance is called Guasogi. Your legs are crossed to look like an X. The front leg is for advancing and the hind leg is for stopping. And next, the two hands are placed alongside your ribs to do the Checho Jirgi. The gap between your fists should be about a fist size. And you remember that I told you that the imaginary target is the inner organs, right? Such as the liver and spleen. And next you pull your right leg back and go into the apkubi stance. And then, winding up to your right shoulder, you execute a powerful are okoromaki. Alright, we'll watch the demonstration. You can follow along with us. Guys, today is the first day of the last week that we will spend on Tegek Chilchang. So we need to make sure that our forms are exactly right. Not 80%, 90%, but 
100% correct. We don't want to have them swaying around and stuff. Well, let's go and make sure we know how to use all of these forms practically, right now in our practical session. Okay, it's time to enhance our skills by applying what we've learned. Watch carefully. You can follow along too. Okay, in the previous session, when the opponent tried to grab my shoulders, I counter him with a hechamaki. This time, when he tries to punch my face, I'll block that with an olgolmaki. And going in, I'll attack with a chechojirigi using both my hands. The opponent is likely to strike back with his knee. That's when I take a step back and do a are okoramaki and punch him in the sternum. Okay, we'll watch it in actual speed. You know, we always feel much better if we feel like we're being given some kind of bonus or some kind of service. So that's why right now we have for you everything from beginning to end in a service. Today's point. Now it's time to maximize our skills through free sparring. Listen carefully, everyone. Okay, 뛰어 반몸 돌려차기. In short, we call this 돌개차기. When he tries this kick, don't be intimidated. Concentrate on keeping your distance from him. And when he shows his back to spin around, that's when you attack him. You attack him like this. But if you miss that opening for an attack, what you can do is to back off in accordance with his movements and then kick when he is about to set his foot down. Okay, let's watch the second method. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time you've all been waiting for, the time when you learn how to protect yourself. Time now for Taekwondo Real Life! You know why I'm here. I'm here so that you can learn how to take care of yourself. Let's go and find someone to teach, shall we? Excuse me. Oh, I know you. I saw you on TV. Could you give me your photograph for me? You know me? Yeah, I'm I know famous. You. you. You may be Andrew, right? I am. Well, yeah, I'll give you... you. Well, oh, just hang on a second. First, let's learn some self-defense. What would you do if I yeah. grabbed you around the waist like this? I don't know, I just shout somebody for help. Well, yeah. shouting is good, but let's ask Master Lee to teach us exactly what to do, shall we? Okay. Master Lee! When an assailant grabs you around the waist, don't try to grab his hand. Pull your right hand behind his arm and tilt it upwards like this. Then you pull it down in a twisting effect while grabbing his hand with your left hand. All you need to do is to press down. Yeah, I try. <laughs> okay, you confident? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's have a try right now, shall we? In Taekwondo, real life. Oh, shit. Oh, well, things aren't looking too good for the official result. Master Lee, what's the official result? I think you rushed in too much. You need to capitalize on the opponent's momentum. I'm sorry, but you failed. Oh, that was unfortunate, but no problem because yeah. you can learn another time. And yeah. I'll still give you my autograph. Oh, really? Can we'll you see you guys it? tomorrow, okay? You know, not everyone that tries succeeds. And often the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is preparation. That's why before tomorrow's show, we need to make sure we're stretched out and we've practiced everything that we did today. That's right. I hope you'll all prepare for tomorrow, today. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, everyone.